So ex-detective gets 19 years in jail for stealing 4 kg of cocaine from Wurtzel in Manchester. Former police detective who was found to have stolen cocaine from members of the store after dropping a bag of white powder outside of a school who's been jailed for 19 years. Andrew Talbot, who worked for the Greater Manchester Police Serious Crimes Division, was found guilty of misconduct in the public office and supply of car safe drugs last month. The 54-year-old took almost 4 kg of cocaine with a retail value of 400,000 from the storage after it had already been seized by police officers. He searched police systems. <laughs> this is the real dummy side of it. He searched police systems for dealers to help him sell the drugs. Liverpool Crown Court heard. I'd imagine, again, I don't know much about the police. Fuck the police, right? But imagine the police have pretty advanced, you know, computer systems that probably log in any login of a system where you can find details of criminals and shit, probably. And I'm assuming those logins are probably sent to somebody to look over and to make sure everything is kosher, to make sure you're not looking at somebody out of hours, you're not, you're not some sort of vendetta, it's not some sort of fucking vigilante thing, right? I'm sure that happens. So to use your own computer, probably your own login to try and find connects to sell this stuff to is insane. But it also maybe shows the desperation that he was in. Maybe he wasn't actually trying to be a big time drug dealer. Maybe he was just feeling like he wasn't being paid enough. He wasn't getting enough overtime and he was legitimately just trying to make some extra money. <laughs> and he had, because he's not a bad guy, he has no connection with the criminal underworld and had no idea how to sell the shit. Maybe he doesn't even drink. Imagine that. He probably doesn't even drink. Doesn't even know where, what pubs to go to. Has no idea. How do I like, you know, because I think a lot of people say it all the time, right? People say all the time, when those videos go viral of like um, bricks of coke washing up on a beach somewhere randomly. People are like, oh my God, if that was me, I would have found it and kept it. Because you hear a story of some person finding a bag of drugs with a bricks of cocaine that got, you know, maybe uh, fell off a boat somewhere and they handed it to the police. People are like, oh, I would have kept it. Captain did what? Captain did what? Do you know how destructive a brick of coke would be if you're like a casual weekend user? It's going to destroy your life. You're going to probably lose your job. You're probably going to lose your family off that brick of coke if you take it home. You probably won't have to keep your hands off it. And if you want to sell it, where do you go? You find a brick of coke now on, at the back seat of a bus somewhere. Where do you go? Where? How do you sell that? What do you do with it? Do you use it? Okay, you lose everything. Cool. Do you try and sell it? Where do you sell it? Who do you go to? <laughs> it's a lot harder than people probably think it is, I'd imagine. So he was probably panicking, looking in the system, trying to find somebody. Like, how do I... Or even Googling, how do I sell cocaine? <laughs> like, like, what? What an idiot. So he should be in prison for his idiot, for his uh, lack of intelligence in that regard. Um, especially as a police officer. Torbert, who had got a cocaine addiction. Oh, so he was using it. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Supplied the stolen drugs to criminals as a result of his greed and significant quantity of cocaine was put back in circulation on the streets of Manchester, said the judge. To be fair, it is kind of disgusting thinking about it, actually. It is kind of disgusting to go pick up your kids at school and you're high of coke. It's kind of disgusting to be going to pick up your kids at school and you've just done a, keep, uh, you've just done a couple of cheeky bumps in the car before you're going to pick up your daughter or your son and stuff. And this was like a primary school. So most likely, I bet you as well, because primary school teachers are observant, nosy fuckers. I bet you the teachers probably had, they probably had their eyes on him anyway. I bet you, you know, especially kids. Kids, kids, kids can't lie too, right? So kids, oh, my dad's always, yeah, my dad's, um, how come you're sick? Oh, my dad's always sick. He says it's all right. What do you mean dad's always sick? He's always blowing his nose. He's always sick. <laughs> my dad gets some my dad sometimes when he's sick he gets like white powder on his nose as well to make it better he uses this white powder white powder what so i bet you the teachers probably had their eye on him for a while maybe the teachers installed the camera with the light with the intention of catching him doing something you know so like he was probably doing too much anyway this te this guy Torbert was caught when he accidentally dropped a small bag of drugs outside his daughter's primary school in February 2020. They started the investigation then. He had no idea. That's the harsh, that's the really bad mind part, isn't it? Like, I like that. that. That's how the police is really good. I like what they do there. They find out you did something. They don't arrest you straight away. They let you keep doing it and then arrest you. 
and then show you video footage of you doing it. You know, it's just like, fuck. <laughs> they could have easily arrested him probably for that one bag, but they didn't. Let, let him continue taking stuff out from the evidence locker. Let him continue accessing the login. Let him continue, you know. Let him continue. And then when, when the case goes to court, he's going to be done for. The school alerted the police and Tobit was arrested after arriving at work with 26.8 grams of cocaine, as well as smaller amounts, which were lower purity. So he was cutting it up as well. Yo, he was he was really trying to be that Breaking Bad guy, innit? Snap bags and a piece of paper with exhibit references for um, Operation Cosmetic, which investigated the nature of supply of cocaine, were found in his car. Three bullets were found in his home. So he got bullets just in case. <laughs> he had baggies, pieces of paper. <laughs> uh, James Lake prosecutor said he accepted that he attended the property store and he would take pocketfuls as much as he could fit into his pockets. Talbot supplied the drugs between 2018 and 2020. He previously admitted several other charges, including possession of cocaine, possession of ammunition without fire. I wonder why he thought he could get away with that. Surely police locker rooms would have... Surely everything in the police locker room has been accounted for down to the individual baggies they probably weigh every single one surely there's cameras in there and surely there's like a there's like a entry process signing in scanning your card so it's like like how do you think you could get away with that um he previously admitted to several other charges including possession of cocaine possession of ammunition without a firearm Talbot was sacked from the great manchester police in august 2020 oh my god he was only sacked in August. And he got caught doing this in 2022. 2022. They let him continue working for two years, claiming a salary. Yo, the police are the police are the police are real pieces of shit, in it. This guy was earning a salary working at the police. Or maybe like on paid leave or something. Until 2024 of August. What the fuck? That is wild. Jennifer Adams from the Great Manchester Police Anti-Corruption Unit said, after the sentencing, it was one of the most shocking cases of corruption uncovered. The most shocking bit is that you kept him employed until August of this year. The drug stole in Torbett's evidence bag. <laughs> he didn't even try to rip it, like, to make it not look like it's open. He didn't even try and rip it, like, you know, slyly. He ripped it right on the... Like, oh my God, this guy, man. There's no place in policing for Talbot or anyone else like him who cannot be trusted to uphold the law and keep our streets safe. We will continue to relentlessly root out those who are not fit to represent the thousands of hardworking police officers who serve the people of Manchester. He betrayed his oath to serve the public and instead became a criminal. Sentencing him on Friday, Judge Neil Fleckwick, as a result of the continuous... Um, so uh, of the continuous dedicated police work large quantities of class A drugs were taken from the streets by officers of Grand Manchester Police as a result of your addiction and greed significant quantities of the cocaine put back into circulation you deceived your colleagues and betrayed the trust the pl people placed in you the court heard that Tolbert conspired convicted drug dealers Keith Ber Brent from whatever to sell the cocaine Tolbert provided confidential police information to a friend on the investigation for assault to help him recover a drug debt Torbert had served the police for 20 years and had spent three years in the arms. Yo, 20 year police veteran with three years in the arms forces and he threw away auto addiction. That goes to show you addiction's a motherfucker, isn't it? That goes to show you how addiction can be a fucking motherfucker. 20 year police veteran threw it all away for some baggies, for some bumps and lines. God almighty, man. What an absolute idiot. But again, like I said, this guy sold some drugs to people who like doing drugs and got 19 years in prison, right? Got 19 years in prison. This guy rapes a girl while she's sleeping and you get six years. Fuck the judicial system. Fuck the judicial system. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. But again, what do I know? Absolutely nothing.